It is the Riot on Radio U, and we are joined in the studio at this very moment by none other than Outsider Hearts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? So good to be here. How are you guys doing? Doing, doing amazing, doing honestly. Great. Cannot we... complain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coffee wanna... selection is amazing. Do you want to go through and introduce great. yourselves? Yeah, absolutely. So um, my name is Doug Catula. I do vocals for the band. And uh, my name is Kobe Arsenault. I'm guitar and also vocals in the band. And uh, my name is Jonah Young. I uh, play bass for the band. And do you like, if you guys hop over to Radio U Riot on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel, you can see the band and say hi to them. Uh, they're getting to use our microphones that That's have cool. the oh, mics yeah. attached to the headphones. <laughs> so it's like if you were a sports broadcaster or like you're leading a, yes. a parade or something. Yes. <laughs> and you Looks like good. them or what do you think? Oh, I, I I love this. I love this. I, I feel like I should talk about the Titans losing to the Bengals. <laughs> and how, no, and how I, this is controversial, but I'm happy the Bengals lost because they beat my team. So oh, sorry, everybody. Oh, don't bring that to the show. Come yeah, on. yeah, no, that's a bad look for our band. I'm sorry, everybody. Happened weeks ago. You still can't let it go. Can't I know. I, I can't, man. I'm, I'm bitter. I'm so kidding. Outsider's Heart is in this morning because uh, you got a brand new song called Monster, yes. which everybody can pre-save now until it's out on. On March 4th, but we'll get to hear that in just a few minutes here on Radio U. Right, so yes. uh, you guys are a band, so uh, we know you've been doing music <laughs> stuff, yeah. but besides the music, what have you been doing the last couple of months? However long. Gosh. What is the last interesting thing that happened to you? Oh, man. So, <laughs> well, we just got back from Nashville, mm-hmm. and that was that was quite an uh, interesting trip. Um, it, yeah, you should probably tell this. Yeah, story. no, so, I mean, I guess this is music related, but we went to Nashville to play a show. Um, on Monday night, and we get there, and it's it's a 21 plus bar. Yeah. And we, and we thought like one of our members that plays guitar for us is actually 18, and we get there, and they're just like, um, we need to see everyone's ID, and so our guitarist who's 18 shows him his ID, and he's just like, okay, um, yeah, this isn't gonna work. So we, we need everyone, to, like everyone, get outside, <laughs> and then the headlining band as well. There's like two local bands who brought out people. Yeah. Um, we had a, like 12 people there that showed up just for us, which was awesome. We were so excited just to play music for those people. Um, the headlining band also had a member that was under 21, and they were just like, "Yeah, the show's canceled. We're not doing this. We'll what? get in trouble." Yeah. Literally, we were, we were just like, "Can we just have our member yeah. play and like stay in the car?" But they were just so adamant about just making us yeah. leave. And yeah. It was a kind of traumatizing but it was, it was, yeah, we made we made the we, most, we made the of, most it, of it we, we had fun we like you know we hung out with everybody gave everybody free merch Aww, and just you know that's like, when you you're like well we're playing this show on the street so yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. we were we were calling around everywhere like we just need outlets to plug yeah. into we'll we play, were we'll called, play we, we called like probably eight other venues just to yeah. try to see if we could get in anywhere just to just to play even people's houses we were like is there anyone that wants to put on a house show like we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll play in your basement like let's let's do yeah. this did you think about just uh Telling your 18 year old band member, just like, sorry, not tonight. <laughs> we, we, yeah. uh, we, we did think about it. Um, the yeah. only problem was that the other band, their drummer was the. Oh, one... so a main member. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it, it was yeah. it was a little complicated. There was a perfect not, storm. Not much yeah. around it, unfortunately. But yeah. Yeah. So. But, but I mean, other than that, we've I mean, we've been we've been writing a bunch. Um, we have we have some really really exciting stuff coming up. That we have our our headliner on April 1st that sold out. We're like so just blessed yes, and thankful crazy. for that. We're. Definitely so very so excited. excited for that. Um, and you're going to all be able to play that show? We've <laughs> yeah. checked. Yes, yes. yes. we checked with that. Checked. We, okay. we double checked on that uh, <laughs> on that little stipulation there, so we should be all good. So, <laughs> so outside our heart, you guys have a for Radio U Ohio. Uh, there was the EP release show on April 1st, but that is yes. sold out. You guys need to just you know keep adding shows and keep selling oh, them yeah. out for like that whole weekend. Oh my so. gosh, honestly, so, we didn't expect to sell it out so quickly. Truthfully, it was very so exciting that. That, that happened. It, you know? Yeah, we we've we've <laughs> tried. We're we're trying to get some something, something else, else going, or maybe a venue upgrade. Not not any luck so far, but we're we'll definitely see what we can do. It, it yeah. But it's so. very exciting. We're definitely gonna put on a very like like a real production show. We're gonna put a lot of effort into it. It's gonna be a night to remember for sure. So, so you yeah. haven't nice. had a chance to play a ton of shows in a while. It's been a yeah, bit. It's been yeah. a little bit. We played a few last year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Nashville's supposed to be our first one of the year, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess our first show of the year will just be a sold out headliner, which will also be kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah. That's it'll, good. Be, it'll be really fun. So this is Kobe, Doug, and Jonah from Outsider Heart, which again, in a couple of minutes, you can hear Monster, which is the new song, which you can pre-save, 
starting to, uh, well, now you can pre-save it, but then that comes out on March 4th. And then there's a brand new music video starting on Radio UTV today. So when you hear Monster, you can head over there and watch it too. Yeah, and I, I recommend following you guys on uh, TikTok and Instagram. You're at Outsider Heart on TikTok, right? That's yes, correct. Yes, yes. What do you think? Like you guys, it's not like you've been around for a long time, but you've been yeah. around long enough to predate TikTok. What do you mm. think uh, adding in TikTok, like how's that? Different with band? connecting with your fans. I, oh, yeah. I, you know, at first we were like, "What TikTok? Like this? I feel like this is not our thing. I feel like it's a little, little cheesy." Or like, oh, it, we, were was, like was, we were this all was like, "This was a yeah. while ago." I mean, everyone thought that. Like, oh, it's for like really young people. But then we were like, "Wait, you can literally post anything, and it could go do so well in the algorithm, and literally like anything could blow up in it." Yeah, yeah. and but, I think it's a, honestly such an amazing thing for artists because you can literally post. Mm-hmm. Like ten times a day, and like no one really cares because like <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like your followers are always on the for you page, so mm-hmm. it's like it's all about just trying to get new people to see you, and that's yeah. what I love about it because it's not so like you know you can kind of just be kind of silly on it and do your own thing. It's not like Instagram where it's like oh like we have to be like super professional and like everything has to be perfect. So yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok, it, you can really put your personality into and it And we've too. Con- we've been able to connect and meet so many great bands from just bands that we would have never found out about. And and I think I think people really like to overthink TikTok. I mean, it's oh, it's, sure. a, it's <laughs> a video <laughs> share. Sure. It's a vertical video sharing platform. It's like you just just got to be yourself and have fun with it, like most things. And I think in a few years, it'll everybody will kind of get used to it. And you know. Get over the the cheesy aspect. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I mean, it's it's well, not it's all just dancing. Fun because a lot of times you know bands relied on Facebook for so long, right. and now for Facebook, like Facebook? if you want anything yeah. of yours to push, like you have to pay them. So yeah. You're, yeah, it's hard to get the support from your fan base. And then when everybody moved to Instagram, it was like, well, you posted more than once a day. We can't follow you anymore. I you know. know. Yeah, right. it That's was really saying. hard. And so with TikTok, uh, so you can follow Outsider Heart at Outsider Heart, and then of course Radio U. Official for TikTok too. Oh, yeah. We yeah. just Absolutely. have so much fun with it, so it's nice to be able to experience bands in a more fun platform. Yeah, Absolutely, sure. yeah. and like things are constantly changing and evolving. Like who knows, like the next app that's going to come out and be kind of similar. You know, like because right. we had Vine there for a second too, which kind of died off. And rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Well, did you it's jump back on when it came back and then it went Is away? It back? Well, it came back like maybe a year or so ago, oh, okay. but it died that. right away. So uh, sure. yeah, when that can. when that whole era happened, we were probably about 12 or 13 yeah. years old. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You were perfect for Vine. Yeah, yeah right? right. No, literally. So funny. Oh, well, we're super excited for the new song, Monster. Again, that starts on Radio U today. And then pre-save the song, so yes. you're all good. And then is April 1st when the EP comes out, or when is it, it going to be out? Yeah, so it'll be like so Thursday at midnight. So like as soon as it turns April 1st. Happy April, <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. Um, the EP will be out. Actually, we're just kind of kidding about that. Sure. There's no headliner. There's also no EP. It's all yeah. a joke. Are we a part of one big giant joke? Oh, yeah. You know, this is Actually. all just like a huge scam. I'm kidding. No, but, <laughs> this is no, 3D we, chess right here. We have the new song, so there's no lying on that. But yeah, no, the whole EP drops that day, and then we're going to do the headliner. It's going to be it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so, it's going to be. Very excited for you guys to hear the, the new songs. And, Wait, you want to play it now? Yeah, let's do uh, well, the new song. Well, thank you guys for coming in. In. We're Thank so excited. So appreciate you guys. And of course, so follow Outsider Heart um, on TikTok to help them uh, get even more there. Yeah. And Boost then, them in the algorithm. Exactly. Yeah, let's go. Interact. Get on the, the For You page. <laughs> and then if you uh, follow the links too, you'll see the pre save for Monster, which we're going to play now. It's Outsider Heart. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. <laughs> it is